looking at this wow. dude. <laughs> now, when I say open his mouth, yeah, the, the, the teeth don't even match. And I ain't going. I ain't going to make fun of the brother's teeth. <laughs> but I ain't going to make fun of his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to make fun. Of, <laughs> I ain't going to make. <laughs> The murder of Nicole Brown Simpson. Now, that's a pretty serious subject, but that didn't stop people from making mm. a shitty movie about it. <laughs> and and I, when I say shitty, I'm talking about. I mean, it's it's offensive how they <laughs> what they do with this movie. It's just downright just. It's one of the most insane things that I've seen. Now it's not on the level of some of the other movies that we've seen here. It's not crazy like that. No karate kangaroos. No cookie eating dinosaurs. And no. Black cops getting killed by a blind Rucker Hauer. Oh, they, they don't wanna... <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, nothing. Nothing classy like. No, that. nothing right. like. And, and, and compared to what they do in this movie, the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson, what they do in these other movies is very classy. It's downright <laughs> sophisticated cinema. <laughs> sophisticated cinema. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but I have to say, as far as this movie goes, it is. It is one of the craziest concepts and one of the most offensive concepts because it's based on something that's real. And it asks you the question, what if O.J. Simpson didn't do it because, look, I don't give a f***. I said, we all know he did. Come yeah. on. This motherfucker <laughs> was stalking her. He had a temper. Come he was on, crazy. On, yeah, he was, Come on. Come on. Come on, y'all. <laughs> don't, don't let us get into the logistics of it. Y'all, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. But yeah. the movie still says there is a... There is a Point zero 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 one percent chance that maybe there was a serial killer out there. The cross-country killer, if you will, Glenn Rogers. What if he was the one who came in, looks like Kenny Rogers, <laughs> yeah. in a way, but what if he came in and he was the one that actually killed Nicole Brown Simpson, or at the time, I guess Nicole Brown because she was divorced. But what if that guy, what if that guy was the one that did it? I mean, you know, I know everybody... Believes that OJ did it, and they should. And don't, we're not saying they, we don't blame you for that, but we have to look at all the, <laughs> the, the questions and the evidence yeah, and we, the possibilities. We, we, we wouldn't be doing our due diligence, and they don't. <laughs> <laughs> but the but the you know a lot of people say you know what, bring it on, man. Let's let's see what you got. Put the possibilities out there. Right, of present course, the evidence. Present the evidence. We do. I got my chart, my string ready, and everything, man. We have. To, <laughs> you I'm, just say evidence, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. A man's a man's reputation is at stake, and there was, <laughs> and there was, and there's, even if it's just a small sliver of a chance, there is a sliver of a chance that a murder of an innocent couple, Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown Simpson, there's a sliver of a chance that their murder has gone unsolved. Let's go ahead and take a look. At this trailer mm. for the murder of Nicole Brown Simpson and see if actually what they present to us is worthwhile and honorable. I'm watching you. It's him again, isn't it? I'm sorry, man. No, 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 no you know what? I'm just saying you 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 don't know. <laughs> if this trailer's already got you doing this shit right here. Give this man a seatbelt right now. Because <laughs> you're about to bounce around this fucking room, man. Charlie did it. Uh, Charlie did Okay. Oh. Is there a no, you know, hold, hold on. Oh, yeah, hold on. No, hold on. I'll explain. <laughs> keep, that, keep that thought to yourself. And I'll let Martin all will be revealed. I don't want to I don't want to jump ahead for the people out there. So okay. yeah, just, yeah, Martin is confused as right now. Oh, Martin. It, it ain't gonna get any better. I'll tell you that right now. Can, can we clear up one question? What's is that? this a porno movie? Because it sure has all the looks of one. Martin, I'm glad you asked that. And as I said, get your ass. Let me pour him a nice cup of, a cup of patience right here. Because you, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of questions. Okay. And you're just going to have to wait. Okay. Because all, all right. Martin. All will be revealed. Look, look at my hand. All will be revealed. <laughs> I know the questions you have. And I guarantee you, I got answers. Okay. I got more answers than this fucking movie right here. Because as crazy as this sounds... It is pulling from real life. It is it is pulling things from. They show you news footage where all of this is pulled from actual events. So it's not. It's, they're not pulling stuff out the ass like I thought they were doing. They actually are trying to work with things. <laughs> they are working with things that are out there. But that's about it. This movie don't have 
any it, it does not present it, do, it doesn't present any any evidence it doesn't answer any questions instead <laughs> this fool takes this theory and turns this into it and, and they try to make they take all this stuff that they have here all these questions that are out there and they do not an absolute fucking thing with it except choose to make a shitty little knockoff horror lifetime movie and you can tell by how cheap this looks. In fact, don't even let me. <laughs> what I just said, let me take a moment to actually apologize to Lifetime. Because this is not. Did you see how cheap this shit looks? Yeah. Oh, God. It, it yeah. looks like The Room. Yeah. It looks. This is so bad. This is, this is not a Lifetime movie. This is someone trying to make, trying to mimic. Right. And falling short. A Lifetime movie. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a 20 year old YouTuber got a little bit of money and tried to make a spoof of a Lifetime movie and failed at that mm. because they don't have the money or the skills to do it. The cinematographer looks like it was pulled off of YouTube. This is the, the, the look of it. It's like, and that's a, again, that's another insult to some YouTubers out there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It looks like somebody filmed on the cell phone at a theater and then put it out there. Well, there are moments where you can tell where the, the I don't know if it's because, because listen, y'all have seen some <laughs> things done with, uh, I've seen some things done with cheaper camera quality, you know, but it's all in the lighting. The mm. lighting in this is so bad. Mm -hmm. The lighting is so flat at times. The lighting oh. is just so uninspired. Oh. It is, yeah, it, that, this, it, that is one thing that makes this look so bad in some parts. It is so, some parts are, are lit so bright that you can see the video quality. Right. You know, it's almost like you video quality, like, oh shit, put that light off. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't supposed to see me. They weren't supposed to see. Me. Yeah, video quality just sitting there, just looking at the movie. Like, God, God. It doesn't work. They know I'm here. Yeah, yeah. And the dialogue in this man. Oh come on! I'm, I yeah, I don't think you could expect much from the dialogue. You can see where they're just writing words just to fill time. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, the characters have to say shit to set up things. Character, char unless it's a silent movie, characters actually have to talk. That's too bad because that's not our strong area. <laughs> you know? Is uh, it one where they describe exactly what you can already see? You can well. Not only can you describe, yes. Not only do they describe what you can actually see, but like I said, man, man, they they do not want to write this dialogue. It's the it's impatient writing. Like uh -huh. they know they're bad at it. And they're just writing shit just so they can get to like all the juicy shit. <laughs> so they got moments where they just sit around. You know how you talk about how we always mention like. Uh, Movies where they try to have people sit around and talk business and they don't know anything about business. Uh, uh -huh. You can understand that because business is, you know, that's that's a deep subject for things, you know. Yeah. Like, and it's, you got you have to write it careful. I've never seen people just fuck up just everyday conversations. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, this shit, Hello. This, this shit is the, 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 you. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Bye. The everyday conversations in this man are so they're generic as. F mm -hmm. And you can tell it's like when it's like when. So how was your job today? Yeah, it was that kind of thing. Was so, job was good today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing today? Oh, nothing. How are you? It's like it's like teenagers who were who took a drama class. It's right. like it's like when you gave the you got the athlete who's taking drama and don't want to uh -huh. do it and they're forced to write a scene uh -huh. and they just, just write shit just to get it over with. Mm. That's the kind of generic ass dialogue that you have right here. Oh, when Bruce sends his love, he couldn't make it. He's hosting a fundraiser in West Hollywood with Heidi Krieger. What a drag. What can I say? I make a great talent manager. People, Jesus what, Christ, what, what, the fucking editing on that is yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. And, 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 well, and, and the whole the name dropping. I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bruce Jenner. <laughs> yeah. and, and adding all this details, like, usually you wait till somebody ask you. Yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No one, no one talks like this. No. no one, you know, it's like, it's just like if Martin, if you were to ask me, hey, what are you going to do when you leave here today? Well, Martin, I'm going to go by the grocery store and buy some bananas because I have to make a smoothie tomorrow. Oh boy, you're like, oh wow, me, I'm just going to go home and drink some milk and go right to bed. And nobody tells these themselves this information. But also, it, it, um, what, um, the rationale is like, I'm going to make a smoothie. Boy, Corey, you sure love the smoothies. He sure does, doesn't he, Martin? I know. I know. And if you follow right. up, yeah. And, yeah, I, follow yeah, up, yeah. and I follow up with information that you don't need. I'm going to go home and make a smoothie. Boy, you sure like your smoothies? I know. They're very delicious, aren't they? You know what I'm right. It's like an episode of Speed Racer. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to share it with your wife, Mia? <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't like my smoothies. She thinks they taste too bland. But I might create a smoothie just for her that has more flavor. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like that. Tell me you're not leaving already. 
Wait, please tell us you're not leaving already. <laughs> oh, are you leaving so soon? Oh, are you leaving so soon? What are you, a f***ing parent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> this is Agnes Buckner. As if y'all know the f***. <laughs> she plays Chris Jenner, uh -huh. so they had to kind of name drop Bruce Jenner, uh -huh. right? Just yeah. so you know, because well, you know, we had to put that in there somewhere. I'm surprised they didn't drop the Kardashian somewhere in here too. Right? At least they didn't do that. <laughs> she, f you, man, f you for not even getting to the offensive. Like this is right off the bat. Oh, this is oh, you're man. killing me right off the bat. With this is. The credits haven't even finished rolling. Oh, during this part, oh, I'm not bullshitting. Me. We are five minutes into the movie with this bullshit. <laughs> credits, credits still rolling when this is going on. Oh no! And then, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and then it, it becomes very apparent that the director don't give a f <laughs> about Nicole Brown, don't give a f about her family, don't give a f about Ron Goldman, don't care about any of these people, man. Are the, he doesn't even care about the truth. This is a guy who wants to make trash. This is a guy who wants to make smut. And as I say, he's not even good enough to do bottom of the barrel trash. He's not good enough to do garbage. This director here, man. So knowing that he's not able to like even produce the most exploitive, titillating shit on his own, he has to find an angle. He has to exploit something else. Uh -huh. And that is where he comes in oh, boy. and exploits Nicole Brown, her family, Ron Goldman's death, the victims, he has to exploit this situation and his infamy. Yeah. Because that's what's going to get people's attention, just like what we're doing here right now, talking about it. Because it's hard to believe that anybody would have the gall to go and do something like this, have no shame at all. And the actors, you know, the actors start putting up, uh, hmm. they, start, they, 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 they start putting the actors in situations just to get cheap attractions. Now, you asked, Martin, mm -hmm. is this a porn? Martin, everything about this beginning starts out either like Skinamax, yeah. a, skin, a, a cheap knockoff of Skinamax. Yeah, if y'all yeah. know Skinamax, Skinamax was back in the day where they tried to get you with everything but pornography, but everything was leading up to it. Yeah, it was yeah. always soft core. It was yeah. soft core. It was the softest of soft core. <laughs> if it could stay up late enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you couldn't actually, you know, get find, you know, your brother's porn stash right. or a magazine or anything. You you, you sneaked and watched Skinamax on cable late at night. Boy, that Showtime. Guy. Our Showtime. Our and Showtime. And that is what this shit is. It, it is a cheap knockoff on that that don't that just don't have the balls to go all the way with it. Uh, Nicole Brown, uh, what's her name? Taryn Manning. Yeah, uh -huh. Taryn Manning. Taryn Manning. She plays her friend in the movie, her best friend, and for no f reason at all. Other than to just give dudes a heart on, they're so close that they throw in just sort of a pseudo lesbian scene. You know, they have a scene where they just start making out, and there's nothing. That, this has nothing to do with the story. This has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Yo, what the huh? <laughs> Somebody walked in. Yeah, but you know, Faye Resnick put that in her book. Oh, did she? Oh, did she? Did and, she? And, and okay. Everybody knows Faye Resnick's full of shit, but right, so that's right. why they always play her drunk and all that. But. Okay. You know, that's why. Maybe that's why. You know, and the whole time, the whole time that they are, that they are, are making out, or there's something going on, the shadow of OJ, shadow of OJ is back out. there, literal shadow, Sh the literal shadow, and it's always doing that shit of. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, you know, so you just see the body, and they're doing this because they still want to. They, they know they know this is fucked up, so they still leave it <laughs> ambiguous that it, oh well right. it's, it well, we still never could said be he didn't exactly right, right right it still could be OJ we're just telling you to think about it that's all but but when the real <laughs> when the real possible killer comes in uh, Glenn Rogers played by Nick Stahl Ugh. when he comes in that is when the movie goes insane it was just kind of bad but it goes insane when he comes in. Uh, he, he plays a so he plays he plays a he, he plays a drifter who comes across as a handyman, a handyman whose wardrobe cons consists of nothing but tank tops, <laughs> white ass tank tops. Ta 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 oh, white ass tank tops. Oh, oh, uh, you don't know Billy? You no, know, he has a, he has a whole wardrobe, an, oh, okay. uh, an assortment of colors, black and white. Okay, <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's with his black tank top on. <laughs> Nick Stahl stays in these tank tops in this movie, man. Well, you know, he's been working out. He wants to show off his right. guns. Oh, Martin, he sure does. 
Because when it's Matt Martin, I, I, I <laughs> swear to God that you have seen this movie. And Nick Stahl has always been scrawny, so now he's he's packed on some muscle. Yeah, yeah, he, he got a little got a little got a little uh-huh. ripped in there, so he's I'm gonna show this shit off. No, man, man. You, you know what? You're right. You were right about. I swear to God, Martin, you had seen this because because <laughs> he he did he man he he got a little because he did he got he got ripped. He started working out. Mm. So it, there's a part in the movie where he comes in. And he actually has that swole walk. Look, look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, man. You ain't that big yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, come on. You, you know, that walk when dudes yeah. been at the gym for two oh, weeks I, and all I, of a sudden. I, I can't move my arms. Oh, my God. I'm so sore. <laughs> well, why? Because I've been working out at the gym. <laughs> and 100. Oh. <laughs> that walk where, you, where you, walk, uh, you walk all stiff because you think you swole, but instead look like you got a stick in your ass. <laughs> you look like you're looking for the bathroom to take a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one can I use? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been at the gym for two weeks. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't want to get you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to victim shame here, but they play Nicole Brown like she's just stupid. Mm-hmm. I, and, I, and I'm not again. I'm not trying to. I'm talking about the movie. I'm no, not. You're talking not victim about, shaming. You're saying what they're doing. I'm talking about what they're doing. They make her look dumb as. F- so Ron Goldman. Everybody knows that. There was something going on, and they and they are building towards that. But mm-hmm. in the in the movie, Ron trying to work for that ass hard, man, and she's just constantly putting his ass in the friend zone. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it, kind of, it looked like it might end up. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, that that, that right there. Oh, that, yeah. that oh, look, wow. yeah, that yeah. look. It it she's constantly putting his ass in the friend zone. You know, little hugs and pecks, and he looks like they're gonna get to it. It looks like they eventually he's gonna get to it. It'll, it'll happen, but he has to work for that shit. <laughs> but the moment she set eyes on Nick Stahl, <laughs> when she sees eyes on Nick, when she put eyes on Nick Stahl, she she looks at it and she's already, mm. you know, I could use a little, I could use a little work done in my place. Turns out that not only the way the way the movie puts it, not only was Nicole Brown into into bad boys, no, she was into crazy boys, uh-huh. crazy mother. If you look like the moment she sees Nick Stahl, she's she's into him. She's wet as, f- and I don't see how, cause he looks crazy as f- looking like a wild animal fidgeting all over the place. Well, my girlfriend is supposed to be my designer, but she's kind of pulled a disappearing act on me lately. <laughs> Excuse have- me while I get something to bludgeon you to death. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and she lets him into her home. Where he acts even he acts even uh more like a feral, crazy ass animal. You know, when when a when a person acts as wild, where they because the thing is, he can he consumes food crazy. Like he can't even eat normal. Like <laughs> watching him in the movie eating an apple, he looks dangerous as See? Got the hang of it. <laughs> that's how that's how a goddamn monkey looks when you get the <laughs> <you get laughs> thing, man. I mean, I, I ain't trying to talk about nobody, but Nick Stahl's face has always reminded me of a chimpanzee. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and the way he's doing that right now, I'm like, <laughs> all right, maybe he is like, <laughs> like the monkey man from the island of Dr. Shit, Moreau. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe he's Caesar from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> you know, he can't eat food normal. He can't drink food normal. Thank you, ma'am. Jesus. Thirsty? <laughs> Mary, thank you for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I'm mean, like, are you expecting somebody? What's going on? He keeps looking the side and shit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. At this point, when you saw somebody in your house, if you saw somebody in your house eating food, drinking juice like this, this is at the point where you would tell them, get the <laughs> out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> you would tell them, get the out of my house. What does she do? She f***s this dude. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> Look how he's going for it, too. Yeah. Mm, he, apples and juice. <laughs> he, he like he's about to eat her. Look. Yeah. And not in a sexual way. Look. <laughs> I guess at this point she's thinking, she's like, well, you know, this is how porn starts. This is how porn movies start. I might as well just go with it. She's like, people like nice guys the after people <laughs> damn multiple yeah, with, with OJ and now this crazy dude in the movie they're making her seem like you know now you all these crazy people and nice dudes after you this you know this is on you that's yeah. the way the movie's making it look right, right, this right, is on right. you but then they have the nerve to have some fucking feminist speech in here which is kind of like cops are trying to help and the cops are like look this is a 50 time you done called and now you got this crazy mother in your house, you know, this this kind of on you. And she's like, so you mean you don't want to help women who call out for your need? And they're like, get the f- out of here with this. Somebody wants to hear <laughs> you this see what was in that apple? He just ate another one when we were talking. This is the part of the movie where 
these crazy ass Easter eggs start to come up. This shit oh, is like a Marvel shit. movie. They start putting in, they start putting in OJ Simpson Easter eggs. See if you can spot. See if you can see. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, this sounds like a oh, game. Oh, Martin. Martin Billy, see if y'all can spot. It might be hard, but see if y'all can spot the very subtle visual Easter egg that we have here. Oh. Oh. Do you see it? A big ass picture of OJ. OJ yeah. <laughs> I thought, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The only reason I hesitated is I thought if you were gonna play it out, would you like some OJ? I thought you were gonna say something like that. But wait, oh. the shit gets crazy. Oh. It's just I told you it's only just begun. The shit gets crazy. Oh, really? <laughs> it's only just so now here's where we get into like that's just a setup when I say it gets insane. That's just kind of funny in a bad way. Here's where we start to get into the pure insanity. Right after they have sex, Nick Stahl, as Glenn Rogers, runs downstairs. <laughs> he runs downstairs and starts talking to himself. Or, or, or is he? Charlie, Charlie, why can't you leave me alone? Now, he's just not talking to himself. It's insinuated heavily later in the movie that he's actually talking to the spirit of Charles Manson. Oh, get out of here. I'm not... I'm not Oh, I'm not fucking lying, man. On, man. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. Man. I wish I, w- you. I wish it wasn't true, man. I wish it wasn't true. I was having fun up to this point. <laughs> you heard him say Charlie. Remember? Yeah. He, he, that's why he keeps saying Charlie. Charlie, I'm not going to do this anymore. The chat is talking about, no, no, you didn't. Yes. To everybody who doubts, yes. They're like, what the f- <laughs> so, so, so this is really a callback to his previous movie. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's trying to create yeah. like a conjuring type yes. universe. Yes, like where the instead of, of Charles Manson is everywhere, instead of the nun or something like that, it's Charles Manson causing all these people. The spirit, the de- the demonic spirit of Charles Manson. That is the thing that's causing all this chaos and murder that we see in the world. Mm. And Charles Manson, right after he's telling Charlie, that's you know, because because Char- Glenn is trying to fight it. They don't. Tra- uh, the Charles, Charlie, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. And Charlie's like, man, kill that bitch and kill her immediately. Bitch, open the door! I will fucking kill you! Hey, you mean, if I don't open the door, if I do it, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm confused with that last statement. <laughs> <laughs> right. you know, I, almost, I almost feel like OJ comes up, man, get the out of the way. you gotta do this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah you lay off. You don't hear bullshit. No, you took it to your damn home. This is how I pro yeah, yeah. I waited as long as I could, but you ain't gonna fuck around. <laughs> Let me show you some football. Moves. Right. <laughs> and when he can't get it, that's when he starts to stalk her. Like she gets, she gets away with. It. I ain't gonna tell you how, but she, she, uh, she survives. She gets away from, from, uh, from, from Glenn, aka Nick Stahl, possessed by the spirit of Charles right. Manson. But she, she escapes and she tries to go about her life. She's still wearing and looking over her shoulder. But Charles, Charles Manson, don't you let that bitch get away. You get her, nobody escapes Charlie. And so that's when he goes out there and starts stalking her in one of the most, and I'm talking about as far as a, a movie making sense, they choose the most bland area Yeah, I see to shoot that. this in. Yeah, they go to a, they go to an outlet mall. Uh-huh. You can tell they cleared everybody yeah. out to shoot yep. this because they, they, they couldn't afford extras. That's where all the budget yeah. went. Yeah. <laughs> and, but he tells him, he's like, hey, I don't give a fuck how bland it is. You go find that bitch and get her. And, and also, none of that tank top shit no, you 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 get G, you get GQ with that shit. Mm. What the f- you know? You know, this is a drifter, man. This guy has nothing but tape tops because that's all he can afford. And all of a sudden, I mean, I know the man's outlet is cheap, and you get two for one. But goddamn, ain't that cheap? <laughs> he went I, to the I like how he can sneak up on it when there's nobody else. Huh? Nobody, I think. <laughs> None. <laughs> Shit, did she go on the day when it was closed? Is right. yeah. she window shopping? Is this a, a Wednesday afternoon? Yeah. <laughs> At 10 a.m.? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know we don't open until 11, right? <laughs> Shit, yeah, this is 9 a.m. You know what they did? They shot at 8 in the morning when nobody was uh-huh. around. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can tell you what they did. Because uh-huh. they, they, they couldn't afford no permit to keep people out of there. They couldn't afford no extras. <laughs> I was going to say, they didn't clear nobody out. They didn't clear nobody out, yeah. Okay, so we, got, we got 30 minutes to get this shot. Hell uh, yeah. yeah. That's when the employees show up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit, that, employees, that's when security shows up. <laughs> Get a out, shoot this shit before Paul Block gets here. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, it's not that, it's not that Glenn is, uh, is, is schizophrenic or crazy. 
He's possessed by the demonic spirit. Oh, wait, they make an actual possession. Yeah, they make an actual possession. Come and, on, and, 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 and can I tell y'all something? Here's the real kicker. All this shit is done. They're talking about all these people are getting possessed by the spirit of Charles Manson. Charles Manson was alive at this time. Yeah. He wasn't dead. Yeah, exactly. No. Oh, shit. So is he so evil he's just sending his, he, he's just telepathically controlling people? From death row? From death row? <laughs> He's not even fucking dead at this time. Charles Manson died like about two years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, don't, nah. they, they don't give a. Fuck. And this and, story takes place over like twenty years ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And you know what? I wouldn't doubt if it is him, like having some sort of possession from his cell, because they kind of make him the Freddy Krueger of death row. Uh -huh. Like if I can't get out the uh, prison and get your ass, and if this, if if if, uh, if Glenn keeps. It up, well, bitch, I'll get you in your dreams. They have a moment here, straight up Freddy Krueger style. What? He says, I'll, I'll rip Freddy Krueger off. I'll take a scene straight from Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, spoiler, <laughs> spo spoiler, spoiler right here. <laughs> that is a dream sequence, but it's, but it, again, it's insinuated that the evil spirit of Charles Manson is so strong that he's even. They're like, is it a dream, or was it? <laughs> yeah, they, they it, 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 he's doing some Freddy Krueger shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's even a moment now. If you like, you if you want to buy the whole thing of all right. Well, listen, I'm. If they, they're giving me a choice. Cool. I'm going. I ain't gonna around with this. That was a dream. This, that's stupid. If it isn't, uh -huh. they start giving you other evidence that no, Charles Manson really is behind this. There's a moment where, <laughs> where Glenn is on the phone calling, calling Nicole, and on the <laughs> on the other end of the line while Glenn is trying to talk, you hear Charles Manson on the other end come. <laughs> Grinding like a lion. Hello? Uh uh. I don't want to hear it. No, Charles. Oh, oh, he's, oh he's, on, he's drinking from a slurpee or something. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's a ventriloquist, too, yeah, because yeah, he's yeah. talking at the same fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Dunham, stop f***ing, man. What time you calling me? As I said, keep in mind, while all this possession shit is going on, Charles Manson is alive and well, sitting in a cell somewhere. <laughs> That is such a bad effect, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen that done well so many times. Not yeah, there. Not here. No, no not here. You see, do you see how she's faking that? She can't, yeah. Like, yeah. Mina, Mina Suvari, who I failed to mention, plays Nicole Brown Simpson. Mina Suvari, she's not a bad actress. No, no she's, she's not. not. But but apparently she, she she can't roll convincingly to save her life. Look at this. She's trying hard. Oh, the turning and the <laughs> twisting. Oh, oh, owie. <laughs> She is struggling. She is. Ooh, owie, owie. Five, six, seven, eight. That poor girl, man. Them bills must be piling up. Uh, yeah. Oh. I just thought she married a rich dude. I thought she did too. Maybe I mean, she yeah. must have got divorced. Maybe she just she either got divorced or she just bored. And just did something. <laughs> she let us her after she read the script. Yeah. <laughs> Inside the contract. That's she, after she came from the screening. What yeah. the f did I just do? <laughs> no, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. What the f? This is not how I thought it was going to be. Jesus cut Christ. <laughs> I've actually signed with the devil. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> and I don't know why they can't catch this, this, this dude, man. I don't know. This, the, this Glenn Rogers guy is possessed there's by Charlie. anybody in this town called LA. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Except that they're getting drunk. Everybody's at a bar. Yeah. Well, I don't know right. why they can't catch this guy because. People know him, not even from just Glenn. People seem to know that he's possessed by Charlie. Hey, Charlie. People Please. that he prompt when they when they come and say like people that he knows that he's friend friends with. Apparently, him and that chick they don't they don't kicked it a few times. But hey, I guess once you say Charlie's name, he promptly kills you. And like I said, I don't know how they can, how they can't catch this guy because after he kills people, he starts setting fire to the cars in the middle of the city. Don't take that. Don't 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 push it into a lagoon or something. Or don't take it out to the country. This shit is in an alley. Oh. Like the cops would be there in a minute. And he's meeting people at a bar with witnesses around. Well, maybe they just thought the Lakers won the game. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for OJ in this movie, if that's the hook for you, uh, you're gonna be disappointed because OJ doesn't come in until near the end. Oh, seriously? The, oh. And, and, and it's funny because when he comes in. Maybe when you saw that trailer, because we, when we talked about the trailer the other day, we were like, well, you know, if the dude kind of like turns his head in a darkly lit alley and stands on his head, then maybe yeah. I can see OJ right yeah, if you there. Squint. If you squint. 
Yeah, and if he's squinting, you're blind in one eye, then maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe he looks like he looks like OJ. But as soon as that brother steps on the scene and opens his mouth, and when he steps on the scene in the light oh. and oh. opens his mouth. Hey, Nicole, I want to see the kids before I go to Chicago tonight. <laughs> that, Ooh. Hey, when he opens Ooh. his mouth, first so, of all, I, I didn't know she was married to David Stray, though. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! Goddamn, uh, that like that looked like a goddamn uh, 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 built a muscular buckwheat or something right there. I'm looking at this wow. dude. <laughs> now, when I say open his mouth, yeah, the, the, the teeth don't even match. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna make fun of the brother's teeth, but I ain't gonna make fun of his teeth. <laughs> I ain't gonna make fun. Of, <laughs> I ain't gonna make. <laughs> I ain't gonna make fun of his teeth, but if there's one thing you can say, if there's one thing you can say about OJ, it's not a compliment either, but OJ was charismatic as sometimes. he was. He this was. brother got zero charisma. Yeah. I mean, None. That's how OJ got by for so long. I mean, yeah. one, he was a phenomenal football player. Yeah. Just out of this world. And he, outside of that, he had a, a charisma. That's why when he was beating on the cold, the cops would come over there. They yeah, arrest him. They be like, yeah. "Come on, Jay, why don't you just chill, man?" Oh, also, can we get some autographs? And that's what right. they they do make us uh, say that in the movie. They say he's friends with half the LAPD, so he gets away with a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. But that brother, I mean, man, look, you <laughs> got you you you, and maybe he had more. He's probably in the movie more than like Jesus, man. I know this movie bad, but this brother cannot act. You know. got to cut him. <laughs> I want y'all to listen to this again. He has only just about seriously, man. He has about total. Probably 20 lines in this movie. Not much at all. Hey, Nicole, I want to see the kids before I go to Chicago tonight. And he f***ed them all up. No Mm. charisma whatsoever. They didn't even... Now, let me... I'm going to tell you, and he does... (laughs) And and by no means... This is this is almost some this is almost some racist shit. Like, yeah. well, they all look alike, you know, because that brother does not look. All what they looked at was that forehead and the nostrils, and they yeah. say, "Well, that's our OJ." Yeah, the three of us look more like OJ Simpson than he does. <laughs> let me tell you something, man. Yeah, let, let me, Sebastian looked like more look, look more like OJ. <laughs> and speaking of Sebastian, Puerto Rican Sebastian, I'm not gonna even lie, man. They have they have a Latino security guard in this movie that looks more like OJ. Than that dude does. Oh wow! Oh wow! They should have got him. <laughs> they say that dude's not even black, and he looks more like OJ. Yeah. I want y'all to look at the difference here. Now look at this, and look at that. Yeah. Tell me which one of y'all would get as OJ. He's older and everything. Yeah, and yeah, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm going with the seventy year old Rock there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the movie's offensive in so many ways. There's a point where they they keep like they they keep talking about the death of. Of uh, they Nicole. keep talking about the death of Nicole Simpson. And they keep talking that like they, they have these lines of people like saying uh, mentioning her death like it's a prophecy, you know, like she's saying uh, things like if I if I don't make it, will you? If, if somehow I end up dead, will you will you keep my kids? Or people use the line that's the worst line to use in this. Your your bad nature, your reckless nature is going to be the death of you. That man's going to be the death of you. That man will be the death of you. And don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Just make sure of that. You know, it's easy to look at all the people in this movie and say, damn, y'all ain't got no shame at all. I would say that the actors, man, the actors, shit, they're working. They're trying to get by. There's always that excuse. I don't know how you can look at a script like this and be like, yeah, this is a great project. I don't know how you do that. Especially these actors. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. But Mina Savari is the one I'm like, all right, you know, no, nah, you don't, you don't, you don't get by <laughs> on that because she, she has. Speaking of the credits here, if you look right there, Mar, what does that say? Oh shit! Ex- okay, you, you, you got to know that, that when you see that title, executive producer, doesn't mean she actually did shit. Right, it means movie. she got paid. That, that, mean, that means she got that credit, so she had a little bit of creative control. At least she was able to. When they said we need you to do this, she could go like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. But that's t- which she should have said to this whole project. <laughs> yes, but the title carries weight. Yeah, when it's presented yeah, there on the screen, it does. It mm-hmm. does. That's why people get paid to have their name mm-hmm. as executive producer. Steven Spielberg gets paid millions just to have his name right. featured there. So even if you listen, if you even if you have just a little creative input, you are responsible for contributing to this bullshit here. That's true. And even that font looked cheap. Oh, it is, man. That's some I mean, shit straight out of Final Cut or something. <laughs> You, you, I, I'm, I'm sure they started with Comic Sans and some. <laughs> you know don't 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 do that. Just times New Roman. At the end of this movie, they try to pull everything together. At the end of the movie, they come in, they try to, they try to make it all 
make sense at the end. They try to pull all the loose ends. And the way they do that is that they, uh, they start showing you the, the real footage of things. Like there's oh. moments where they, you know, I don't want to spoil everything for you here. Y'all probably don't give a f- love when we spoil this kind of shit. But there's moments in here where you have, uh, you know, there, there, are, there, there is news, news footage at the end that contributes to this whole thing of maybe Charlie did it. You know, they have all this evidence of this serial killer that was going around that gave, besides the, the, uh, the, the cross-country killer, mm. Glenn Rogers, they have other people out there, killers, who said, yeah, you know what? Ah, nah, it wasn't, it wasn't OJ. It was somebody else. They try to pull all that shit out at the end with all this evidence that's coming from real life. And it's like, nah, bitch, it's too late for that. Nah, I don't even try to do that. And, you know, uh, you should have done that at the start instead of making this garbage wanna be made for cable TV horror thriller slash softcore porn that you were trying to do. <laughs> it's, it's too late for that shit. This is a straight up, you know, listen, we had fun talking about it. It was funny. But the shit, the, you know, the. the this is again. This is this is almost irresponsible in a way. It's offensive. Yeah. It's offensive yeah. to where, you know, I don't know if the family had any. If, I guess not. They had no legal means to come in and prevent this from happening. But I feel bad for them, man. There's the last thing they need right here. This is a straight up fuck you, man. The movie is a straight up. Fuck you. It was fun to talk about, but it's a fuck you. Well, let me ask you this: Who is that actress playing Chris uh, Jenner? Agnes, Agnes Buckner. Buckner. What have I seen her in? I don't she know. Looks familiar. That's a great question. I can't tell you. I don't know. <laughs> don't give it. Don't give it. Pick it up yourself. Leave me out of it. Yeah, I don't know. It's a great question, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs>